presentation, allow me to introduce you to what is called the Vasa Previa. So what is Vasa Previa? When we are talking about Vasa Previa, what are we talking about? So I have gotten a practical example to demonstrate or to explain to you what Vasa Previa is. So I scanned this patient, pregnant woman, at our radiology department, and I found a typical case that I actually call Vasa Previa. So if you look at this, this is our uterus. So this is the awesome here. We have got our cervix, which is here. This is our urinary bladder. And this is our amniotic fluid you are seeing here. So this is the mass here. It is part of the placenta. So when you have got the cord of blood vessels that are found here just adjacent to or on top of the os here that is what we call vasa previa so you can see these are the blood vessels seated just uh, on top of the os so this is a typical case of vasa previa this lady came to our department presenting that she has got other masses which are protruding the vagina so on our response scan i saw uh this these vessels you are seeing here, you are appreciating here, and you can appreciate that on the color Doppler, they are actually perfused and they are seated on top of the os. So this is Vasa Previa. The major disadvantage of this Vasa Previa is they can actually prolapse these uh, vessels as what it happened in this case. So this lady actually had good Vasa Previa. So if you find or if you see the cord or blood vessels, that are adjacent to just are above or seated on the on the os and actually penetrating at times on the cervical canal you dealing with a case of vasa previa so we don't need to see the blood vessels in this region they have to be attached to the cord there or they have to be away from the from the os so if it is a placenta that is seated here, we call that a placenta previa. But now, if they are blood vessels, then we call those a vasa previa. So basically, this is a case of vasa previa you are appreciating here. So this is vasa, vasa previa. I hope it's making sense. Again, you can appreciate. Uh, our vasa previa you can see the blood vessels here you can see the vessels there you can see the vessels there and you can actually see uh this is our endometrial uh, canal the endocervix uh, the endocervix uh, this is the cervix uh and then uh this is the cervix the vaginal canal is somewhere there and then you can appreciate our 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 uterus nicely there then the blood vessels you can appreciate them here this is a classical a typical case of what we Vasa Previa. So I hope wherever you are around the world, you are learning uh, new things by the day. So I need you to add also this to your vocabulary of learning uh, the term Vasa Previa. So it is very prudent again when doing an ultrasound scan uh, to rule out these uh, previous, these Vasa Previas. So don't just look for uh, Placenta Previa also look at the vessels if they are not causing a previa uh it also around the os region so is you appreciating uh what is taking place in this context so this is the classical case of vasa previa i hope you've seen vasa previa at your radiology department one or the other the other did you guys in pakistan see it did you appreciate vasa previa in Turkey? Did you appreciate Vasa Previa in India? Are you appreciating Vasa Previa in, in Nigeria? Are you appreciating uh, Vasa Previa in, e, in the EU? Are you appreciating Vasa Previa in America? I hope you guys uh, have got a chance in your lifetime at one point or the other to appreciate some of these pathologies which are at times uh, missed unknowingly. So some people have never seen them, so they can actually overlook them. If you see the blood vessels, you might actually maybe write a normal report, not knowing that this is a condition that can actually cause serious challenges to the unborn fetus. 
So again, now you can appreciate uh, from this, this is our nice fetus, a very innocent soul. Uh, the heart is here and you can actually appreciate uh, the, 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 the Vasa Previa uh, which is going here. Uh, it's going all the way there so you can actually appreciate this aminotic fluid and then this is the 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 oils there and there we have got our cervix uh which is here this is our uterine bladder and then our uterus nicely uh demonstrated there you can also appreciate it from this end uh this is at least the cord you can actually see uh the blood vessels here the blood vessels are going all the way there so we don't need the blood vessels to be down here because they can actually prolapse uh, into the into the uh, cervical canal. So this uh, patient was saying that he is seeing some masses which are protruding. I didn't actually visualize them. I just did my scan. I didn't bother to open down there. So I just did my ultrasound scan and realized that there was a uh, vasa previa, and I didn't. Uh, appreciate uh, it because i didn't look uh, into the protruding masses uh, as such because my scope of practice does not allow me to do that so you can appreciate you can appreciate the vasa previa you can appreciate the vasa previa here uh, this is the innocent soul that i'm talking about and again and again and again you can see the the, the blood vessels here uh, and then in our urinal blood that there um, I hope you, it's making a, a lot of sense. I feel you have good questions. Uh, anything that you don't appreciate uh, concerning this condition, which is called Vasa Previa, feel free to share with us uh, any contributions or any questions that you might have. And using our platforms as well, you can also uh, ask your questions or pose your questions. If you've got also cases uh, that you feel that you don't understand, we are also available on Telegram. Our medical ultrasound academy we are also available on facebook our medical ultrasound academy we are also on instagram medical ultrasound academy we are also on linkedin medical ultrasound academy you can post your images there we can also interpret them for you for free so we 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 we, we like the diversity of learning from all corners of the world uh, it is also good for us when you appreciate the pathologies uh, that you are dealing with in your various uh, departments. I thank you so much for your time. My name is Mr. El Chitumba. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also don't forget to put your comments under our comment section. Thank you very much. All be blessed. Thank you once again. Mm -hmm.